Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Demon Slayer and how much money Demon Slayer is making off of just the merchandise. Yes, it's amazing how much money they're making off just merchandise. And our family is part of the reason. <laughs> yeah, Pinky, Pinky Boo. Pinky Boo's got a lot of Demon Slayer stuff. She uh, does. We're going to talk about this because this is a, a fundamental difference, I think, between uh, you know manga, the manga industry, and American comics. Because in America, it's like a lot of these comics do not lend themselves to merchandise. You don't Unless see... they're the big, big ones that everybody's known for decades. Yeah, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman. Okay, uh, you know, a lot of times if, if a, an American comic becomes an animated series or a live action series or movie, then you'll see merchandise. Even then, it doesn't hit the levels this just did. No. And what happens in Japan is when they're you know going to launch an anime series, a lot of times they will sit down with the toy manufacturers, the video game companies, the tabletop game company, and be like, here's our plan. Will it you merchandise? Know? Will it merch? And that determines whether or not that it gets... You know, right, because they're out there to make, you know, they're out there playing Go. They're trying to you know, put their little pieces all over the place to meet in the middle for some giant mega hit that makes lots of money. Um, over here, they used to care about money. Now they just care about upvotes and likes. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna talk about that, and maybe compare and contrast with the uh, the American comic book industry. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over two hundred thirty-seven thousand subs. Uh, woohoo! Thank you for the support. We do talk about. <laughs> you didn't do the woohoo right. What is woohoo? This is my radio voice. It's my man who. It's my man who. Woohoo! No, don't, don't, don't. Okay, give me a real woohoo. Woohoo, mother effer. Woohoo! That wasn't good enough. We'll stick with mine. I'm more of a cheerleader. You're just like a whatever. Anyway, let's go. I'm more of a, I just, I don't really, I, I'm not, I'm not very excitable. I get excitable sometimes. Oh, here you're excitable. Just not in, uh, you know, in good ways. Go ahead. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about this. It's coming from comicbook.com. Demon Slayer reveals mind-boggling 2020 profits. Um, it yeah. is pretty, it's pretty high. Just, just hold on. Yeah, Demon Slayer pulled in hundreds of millions of dollars in profit when it came to the first movie, right? But it gets it gets uh, better. Over the course of 2020, Demon Slayer pulled in around a trillion yen, which translates to close to 9 billion US dollars, proving the Shonen series has easily become one of the biggest anime properties. Okay, 9 billion. 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 Okay. Nine billion dollars and and one of the i think it's one billion is a billion the, is, is the merchandise the, yeah. a billion a billion and just dollars merchandise merch. which i completely believe it because you know everywhere you look there's demon slayer stuff and like i said pinky boo has quite a few things yeah there's another there's another article out there demon slayer hit a crazy billion dollar milestone this is on comicbook.com uh, one of yeah. the most profitable ips in anime to date billions in merchandise alone the update a billion dollars in merchandise <sighs> a Japanese business publication broke it down. The organization says Demon Slayer's wide array of merch is bringing in about 900 billion yen or 7.9 billion U USD. I want, I, could you imagine having something you created, a property of your own that was like a, a manga that ended up doing that? By the way, hey, Shadow Binders is available right now. <laughs> you go to shop yeah, Clownfish. Yeah, we, we haven't. Go shop clownfish.com. Yeah, we haven't done 7.9 billion or even 1 billion or even a million, but yeah, we're selling books. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's funny. Just you, you laugh. Just, just to put this in perspective, just to put this in perspective, the entire North American comic book industry. 1.28 billion. That's for the entire industry. And they rolled. Did they roll? Is that the one they rolled manga into too? Yeah, I believe so. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, just the merch off of one comic. Did that in you know, for Japan the in same year, year, 2020. Yeah. So, yeah. It's all good here. It's all good here. Being, But you know what? That's not what matters. Being paid in upvotes and likes and blue check marks is where the money and, the, and where the real, you know, Fans lie where the real, you know, triumph is. Yeah, the real triumph is, yeah, getting getting headlines for being super, super woke. Because uh, that's going to bring in money. That's going to bring in lots of money. Lots and lots of money. 
you know, everything's fine here. Anyway. It could be if you did it right, but they don't because they just make it a big lecture. Yeah. I mean, now you would, to, to be quasi fair, you would have to figure out exactly how much Disney's making off of Spider-Man merch and how much, you know, DC's right. making off of Batman merch. I'm saying merch. also I like the big ones that, that are tied up with like, you know, Disney and Warner Brothers and stuff like that. And they put them everywhere too. But this is pretty kicking ass here. I mean, it's one, one property. Merchandise total includes everything from toys to clothing and even food deals. This should come as little surprise given how Demon Slayer can be found just about anywhere overseas. From politicians to grocery cashiers and students, the franchise is one that crosses most generational gaps so it can draw money from most demographics. It's so good. If you've been watching it, go watch it. And I think someone wrote me the other day, and I'm sorry, I don't know who it is off the top of my head, and said so they went and watched it because we said to and how good it was. Awesome. Watch it. Uh, of course, fans are used to Demon Slayer making money back in 2020. The manga made 385 million US dollars. We made a solid 87 million in 2019. Even the story side novels are bringing in millions of dollars. Now, here's the thing. In Japan, again, the merch makes more money than the manga. And the manga makes a hell of a lot more than, than comics do over here. But look at Evangelion. Like, Evangelion, most of the money from that came from merchandise, came from, mm -hmm. you know, tie-in deals. Because really, there's relatively little Evangelion media. You had the the, the original series, you had the, the rebuild, and you had, you know, manga series and some video games and stuff like that. But the fact that Evangelion makes so much money, it's because of toys mm -hmm. and tie-in stuff. They're right. Freaking shaving commercials. I mean, I'm sure stuff. like with the Spider-Man or some of the main characters when you have all the deals, they're making a, quite a bit of money as well. Yeah. I'm not going to say they're not. They have the benefit of being around for decades and decades and decades. Demon Slayer does not. Yeah, we're talking of what, five, six year old mm -hmm. manga series. Uh, I, yeah, I've never seen anything blow up this fast. Uh, One Piece. Yeah, even One Piece. Oh, My Hero Academia did pretty well, too. Yeah. But, you know, hey, it's pretty awesome. I mean, just this, just the merchandise alone on Demon Slayer has hit $1 billion. Well, that's that's where the money really is. I mean, I hate to say it, but at the end of the day, it's like, look, you know, DC is going to make more money off of Batman Underoos and Batman action figures. I mean, just look at the the toy aisle. Like, there always are Batman action oh, figures. Oh, they have some cool ones out right now, too, though. Because I was buying again a head for kids or toys for kids in need, and they have some really cool Batman stuff, like figures and stuff. And they they talk now and stuff. Oh, the I guess. Ones, but they yeah. have this big thing. It looks like a giant Batman, and you open it up, and it's like his whole Bat Cave and everything. That sounds really bad when I say it out loud. If you just open it up, you can step inside his Bat Cave. I'm sorry. After I said it, I was like. That's really unfortunate when I'm thinking about it now. Anyway, it's kind of cool. It is kind of weird cool. now. I made it weird, but it's cool. Meanwhile, yeah, we got this and we got, oh, look, uh, Star Wars Hotels getting a comic book. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? No. I did not know this. I'm not surprised. Oh, my God. That's so Disney. <laughs> It'll, that's so Disney. That'll be $6,000 cheaper than the actual thing. Oh, my God. Thing. That's like, funny. Galaxy's Edge got a comic, oh, so it doesn't surprise glorious. me. But it's like, you know, comic books over here. I don't, they don't really think about the merchandise. Now, one person who did, Todd McFarlane, mm -hmm. when he did Spawn, one of the first things he did within a couple of years of Spawn coming out was he started a toy company and he started making Spawn action figures. I'm yeah, sorry. I, 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 I just laugh at it because Moto writing, it'll be $5,975 or cheaper than actually staying. Oh, Gizmodo. I'll give you that one. That was beautiful. Yeah. Beautifully done. Yeah, the Halcyon is the name of the of the Star Cruiser. It's called the Halcyon. So cosplay Wookies. There we go. That's that's <laughs> great. Wookies don't wear clothes. Oh my Come god, on. this is funny. Anyway, anyway. Anyway, there we go, guys. Here's some good news. Some good news is, you know, Demon Slayer's doing really well. Yeah, Japan's fine. The and, manga's fine. Know, and here's fine. something else. Like you know, it's doing really well. It's making one billion dollars in sales from merchandise. Um, it's amazing what you can do when you don't piss off your fans and tell them you don't want their money. It's amazing. Um, it's amazing what happens when you create, you know, uh, stories that have mass appeal, wide appeal, and yeah, you don't run people down. You know, people can relate to the characters. They can. And you can know what? You can relate to characters. They don't have to look like you. They don't have to be the same color as you. They don't have to be the same gender as you. It's amazing, right? It is amazing. And possible. America could learn a, a thing or two. 
Uh, but please, please do do tell us how progressive Superman has become. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, so we're going to wrap this one up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.